Hello there and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at creating a contact sheet in Adobe Lightroom Classic. I think usually if people want um, contact sheets in Adobe, more often than not, you'd go to um, Photoshop. And uh, I think in Photoshop, if you go File, Automate, Contact Sheet 2, that's where you'd go. But if you've edited your images and you're, or you're using a workflow in um, Lightroom Classic and you decide you want a contact sheet, then you can do that within Lightroom Classic. And um, so let's let's try and give that a go today and uh, see how we get on. First thing, before we actually start building the um, contact sheet is um, for this demo, I'm going to use this selection of 12 pics of yours truly. I think that's something I knocked up ages ago for a, a demo on backgrounds and filters gels something like that i can't remember now ages ago um if you yeah so if you've got a selection of pictures and you want to sort them around um to get them in the right order for your contact sheet usually but not always in a uh, lightroom classic you can drag and drop the pictures within the uh, library view and move them around However, on this case, you can see that I can't do that. I've got an error message saying the currently selected source does not support custom order. Now, the main reason for that usually, perhaps not always, is that the folder that my images are in, i.e. these images are in, is inside another folder. And the Lightroom catalog doesn't like that. So... If you want to be in a position where you can juggle around your images within Lightroom Classic, then the best thing to do is just put your images into a folder that's not in a folder and then point your catalog to that. And then hopefully you'll be ready to go. So I just mentioned that. Um, so I cannot move these guys around, however, I would quite like to make a couple of changes. Um, so for instance, we've got this picture here, we've got this bloke here, he's got a shirt on, looks like it could be the manager. So I'd, I'd quite like to put him first, but as I've shown you before already, can't do that. Um, so I'd like to make him the first picture. And if I could scroll down here, this geezer's got a hoodie on so he's a scumbag so i want to make him the last so i can't change the order by dragging drop can i do it a different way well one clunky little way that we could get around that would be to grade the images that we've got i've got 12 images here i can't grade from 1 to 12 but i can grade from 0 to 5 so what i can do is give all the images a low grade and change the gradings on these two individuals so it gives me a little bit of um, scope to move things around so let's just try that so to do that let's just very quickly i'm going to go to edit and i'm going to select all so all my images are selected and then what i'm going to do is let's think about this i am going to grade all my images one so all my images now are one star. So next I'm going to come back up to edit again and I'm going to deselect all. So no images are selected. I'm now going to select on my boss and I'm going to hit, give him a score of zero. Whoa. And so now he's moved to where I want him which is nice. Well, let's come down to the scumbag. I'm going to give him a grade of five. He's last. So not great. It's not, it doesn't give me the ability to, to move everything around, but by playing with that, that's one way of doing things. If you get stuck in the situation where I am at the moment where I can't drag and drop. So, okay. So before we 
go on to the next bit what i need to do is reselect all the images because we want all the images to go into the contact sheet if i don't do that at the moment i just have scumbag here he selected then only he will go into the contact sheet so i'm going to go back to edit and i'm going to select all um, so we're now ready to move on to the next bit and we're going to come across the top here and we're going to select the print tab here we go so it's pulled up a con sheet a uh, con sheet a contact sheet purely because this was previously selected on something i'm going to look at what we've got five by eight four by five we've got <coughs> So I've selected this. So this is under the template browser. You've got a bunch of templates that you can use. I've selected the four by five contact sheet. Um, and then we can, we can play with that in a bit to, to move around it. Just because it says four by five doesn't mean that we are restricted to that. As we look at the options we have in a moment, we can change things around a little bit. So we selected all 12 images. We came across to the print tab and um, Lightroom has opened up with the template browser. And I have selected the four uh, by five contact sheet and it's placed uh, the 12 images on that. Um, not quite yet what we really want. Um, but it gives us something to, to start with. Okay, if I just come across here to the page setup at the bottom, have a quick look at that, and my paper size is going to be A4. So trying to set up a contact sheet here on a A4 piece of paper. Um, now all we need really left to do is play around with these settings that we got here on the right hand side. So um, what we can do is just flick through some of them and see what they do. So you've got zoom to fill, you're getting your square images there. But, um, but it is worth just trying some of these and just seeing what, what you do get out of them. So, but more importantly, coming down here, we've got um, the more useful stuff. So we've got the margins. Now, these images are far too close to the top margin. So that would be a good place to start. You can start bringing your image down to begin with and you can set a bottom one a bit further along when we're we're ready to do so and you've got um you can start playing with the cell spacings for vertical and horizontal as well um we can add a stroke to the so a box will appear around the images if we want that we can add a little bit of text to it if we want that and um, we can add border marks and when we're ready we can print this off however so but looking at what we've got um we have if we look at the page grid the pictures are very small i've got almost half a page left um not being used so that layout isn't really working from for me so how about if we go three columns now that's a lot better okay so a bit of messing about there um but eventually i'll i'll, I'll i would have cut out some of the messing about that i've done but um i've settled on four rows and three columns um which has now given me quite a nice um, spread of the pictures across the page if i look at the margins now um left is quite nice but i might need to reduce it but i do need to look at the bottom now and see what i can do and as you see as i increase it then i'm losing a, a little bit of the, the size of the image but we've got that and then if we look at the um cell spacing and if we play with that and see what we can get out of that we don't want to really play with the horizontal that is about as good as we're going to get as well so we're almost there so let's um, add a borderline to each of these pictures so particularly the white edged ones and um, will stand out a bit better so we can 
do that by finding the uh, here we go the stroke border so if i tick on that and then we've now got nice little boxes around each of the images and all i've got left now so we've also got here the file names which is nice and handy if you're printing off a set of proofs that you want to send to your customer that's great then they'll know um, what to order if you don't want that we can we can remove that um, by unclicking the photo info box so i've taken that off it's adjusted the the size but so now we'll go back to the uh, spacing and increase that a little bit and there we go and just find something that we find looks nice there we are so we're getting closer to be finished and um that's pretty much it i think um the only other thing that i want to do now is so if i'm reasonably happy with the image i've got my boss in the right place i got the scumbag at the end Everybody else is in between. Um, we've got a stroke or a borderline around each of the images. They are reasonably spaced out as best I can on a A4 sheet of paper. So we're pretty much there. So all we're pretty much left to do is to print it off. There is, um, it's worth a couple of things worth mentioning. Um, background color, we can change that if we want to. So if you click on there and then click on the color, when it opens up you get this horrid black and white and it looks like that's all the option you got but if you take if you put your cursor at the bottom here and scroll there and then you see who we've got lots of colors that we can choose from and then we can start um selecting something that might be nice oh that's okay that'll do for me close that so we've got a nice background we can change that you can add i'm quite sure how useful it can be but you can add a bit of text to go across the top and if you want to change the text you, you do that there but um i don't want that but it's it's good to know you have that option and coming down here you can add watermarks you've got a few more page options but i didn't find anything there that as was useful to me but we're pretty much done all i want to do now is save that file so to do that, come down where you see print job and where you see print to, you've got two options really. You're going to send it to the printer or you're going to print to a JPEG file. I'm selecting the JPEG file and we're done. All we've got left to do now is print to file. And then choose where you want that to go. So I am going to find We'll try to find demo stroke. We're going to contact demo two because I would be playing around with this before. Let's save that. And we've now got that file and we're done. So, really, all you're doing, um, just to try and recap very briefly, in your library, Get the images that you want to um, use in a contact sheet or that you want to create a contact sheet for get them in the right order bear in mind what i said about folders and things if you can't if you don't have control of if you can't move them around then that's because they they need to be in a, a folder on their own and get them in the right order select all that's quite important because only those pictures that are selected will move into the next phase for want of a better word which is in moving into the print setup and then all you need to do change a um, one of the contact sheet templates um, but they are adjustable so whichever one you do and then have a play around and get to it as best to your liking as as you can um, i hope that kind of makes sense I've, I've made a few 
errors while I was while I was talking. So I'll try and edit those out of the, the video. But um, yeah, I hope you find this useful. Thank you for your time and goodbye.